Recording in progress. Recording stopped. Recording in progress. Yes, yesterday we were studying about the ectoparasiticides, the different types of the pests, and also the different uh, agents, especially the first generation agents. No. Yes, today coming to the uh, important thing is the synthetic compounds. Synthetic compounds, uh, as per or else we already can say is the synthetic pyrethroids, especially the alethrin. Alethrin uh, was the first commercially available synthetic pyrethroid. Alethrin is the first compound, especially uh, the uh, which is used commercially. So it is uh, belonging to the type 1 or non silathrin uh, synthetic pyrethroids and is uh, structurally related to the natural pyrethrins. So the natural pyrethrins are obtained from the chrysanthemum cinerarifolium. So it is a mixture of several isomers then out of which the D trans alethrin or it is also called as the bio alethrin is uh, most effective. And alethrin is mainly used in case of the shampoos for the control of fleas and ticks on the dogs, etc. So, usually there are varieties of the uh, these nimble shampoos are there, especially for the dogs. So, they contain the synthetic pyrethroid, that is the alethrin. Then, uh, the permethrin is uh, another compound, just like the alethrin, it is a third generation. Uh, synthetic pyrethroid existing as a mixture, especially this mixture of trans, which is containing 60% and cis is 40% isomers. So, this is widely used as ectoparasiticides in the, the dog collars, the sprays, dips, ear tags, means almost all the preparations or the medicated preparations like collars, sprays, dips, ear tags, shampoos, and topical. Uh, concentrates for the control of fleas and uh, the other insects like the lice, then uh, ticks, then flies. So, this is a multipurpose use, especially the permethrin, especially in case of the different domestic animals, and it has very high stability and uh, the residual activity of up to one month uh, for some formulations. That means uh, it is long acting drug, especially the permethrin. Then uh, in sprays, it is uh, generally used in concentration as 0 0.025 percent uh, for the control of the ticks and 0.1 percent for the flies. So that means higher concentration is required for the flies because they are having very short contact with the animal skin. And it is incorporated in uh, the feed tags for cattle at concentrations of the 10.5 percent. So then it is used as a and used remain effective for the three to four months. And apart from this one, there are varieties of the dusting powders and shampoos. So they usually contain one percent per metric. So there is also little higher concentrations and. It uh, used as the ectoparasiticides in different species of the animal. The permethrin, cypermethrin and many more agents, they are very commonly used. Then the agent is the cypermethrin. So it is a cypermethrin is a broad spectrum fourth generation synthetic pyrethroid. Broad spectrum fourth generation cypermethrin and it is one of the very commonly used ectoparasiticides in the veterinary practice and it has a mixture of eight isomers 
but only one it is eight and the pure isomers are the colorless crystals whereas the technical material which is used in uh, the preparations of the various drug is a viscous brown semi solid then apart from this one there's uh, ethoparacetamide the cypermethrin is uh, most commonly used as especially the ear tags for control of the flies and uh, the ticks of the cattle and often in combination with the another drug that is the opc compound or organophosphorus compound that's the chlorpyrifos and apart from this one also the sprays and porons preparations poron means a squeezable preparation and uh, it is squeezed from the head to tail on the back of the animal so the squeezing preparations are used with the cypermethrin as one of their content especially on different uh, animals like the sheep goat and poultry against uh, various external parasites then topical application of the cypermethrin in the form of the spray is uh, well recommended at the concentration of the 0.1% so remember the 0.1% and of course 0.505% in case of the poultry then the treatment of lambs that is uh, less than 1 week of age of the animal during hot weather is uh, it is not recommended during the hot weather because in case of the sunlight the cypermethrin will lose its potency hence it is not recommended then delta methrin of course uh, you might have heard the name like butox so this is one of the most popular and uh, the highly used compound it may stand as top one when compared to the other uh, agents especially maybe the acaricidal property or uh, the antiparasitic activity so previously the delta methrin deca methrin it was called as the deca so it is a broad spectrum synthetic pyrethroid having the contact and the systemic actions so it is extensively used as the ectoparasiticide in farm and companion animal practice so uh, the insects or the pests that are susceptible are the flies lice tides or the fleas and mites one important thing to note is uh, not only on the animal's body the surrounding area should also be uh, sprayed with the ectoparasiticide or else the larva and other stages which are hidden there in the different corners of the cattle shed they may get out and it is available in the form of the dips spray wash and poron preparation dip spray wash and poron preparations and uh, uh, the spot on formulations also many spot on formulations is the are there just one simple drop of this drug may be enough so it is also one of the promising insecticide of course it's an acaricide and the 1% solution may be used as the pour on the control of the external parasites and cattle so the 1% and uh, it is used as 5 ml and 1 ml especially in case of dogs and pigs respectively so the delta methrin may be used in uh, uh, as a dermal spray or wash in the concentration of 0.0125 to 0.1% so this should not exceed or else the drug the animals may get toxicity then phenylalanine it's also a group of synthetic pyrethroid having broad spectrum biocidal activity it's a it is going to kill many type of the insects maybe ticks fleas lice and many more so the it exits as the yellow liquid with faint odor phenylalanine is the active ingredient in several ectoparasiticides Uh, formulations which are available in the market hundreds of these are available and uh, such as uh, the the medical devices what can be used are the
the ear tags for the control of flies in cattle, prong and uh, the other sprays for control of the lice, then uh, the mites especially the charcoal tick and sorrow, uh, sorrow tick mangers can also be treated. So this uh, it is used in the ectoparasite sites, yes of course in case of the horses. Then phenylalanine is usually used at concentration of the 0.25 percent uh, for commercial ticks, especially in the cattle. So its a solution is prepared. Then the cattle are washed with entire body with the lotion. Then uh, they are not allowed to lick the in, uh, ingredient containing the liquid, or else they will succumb to the toxicity. That's the important thing to note here. Then other synthetic uh, parathroids like uh, several other synthetic parathroids like the uh, especially the cyfluthrin, cyhalothrin, then uh, uh, the lambda cyhalothrin, then flumethrin, then phenothrin and resumethrin. All these are used as the other synthetic pyrethroids. Then second agents are the organophosphorus compounds. So these are the organic esters of the phosphorus and have the ability to inhibit acetylcholine esterase enzyme. That's the anticholine esterase enzyme. So anticholine esterase enzyme, they are going to inhibit and hence the accumulation of acetylcholine in the nerve endings and which causes the fasciculation of the uh, muscles or the chitin of the, uh, the spe uh, insect. But it is of course uh, one of the highly toxic compound and uh, need very carefully, need to be handled very carefully so that we should prevent the toxicity. So the, uh, they are comprising of the varieties of the chemicals. So the, during the, this 1942, when there is a second world war initiation and beginning, then all these agents were used as the biological warfare agents. So the, it is uh, used as the herbicide, defoliant, fungicide, weedicide and many more and the chemosterilant action. So as insecticides and acaricides, organophosphorates remain useful as active ingredients in some commercial ectoparasite site formulation. So, so many commercial ectoparasiticides formulation are there, then these are the one of the active ingredients. So their use has been declined drastically nowadays because of the very high toxicity which is uh, measured by the low LD50. Then uh, the, the these compounds are being vanished in the market. Uh, that's the number one reason is they are highly toxic. Number two reason is uh, the newer compounds like pyrethroids have arrived. So usually these uh, compounds should go beyond the screen now. Coming to the chemistry and uh, the mechanism of action, it's already very well dealt how these agents are going to uh, help us.